On March 3, 2020, Anthony Fauci, director of National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, stated that it would take at least a year to a year and a half to get a COVID-19 vaccine approved for use in the United States. However, some experts say a quick approval could be risky because vaccines require a lot of testing. According to WHO, 40 vaccines for the coronaviruses are in development right now and number of labs have begun human trials. The Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovation CEPI, which was co-founded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Wellcome Trust and an association of many other nations, is dedicated to the development of vaccines against emerging infectious diseases, which includes the MERS coronavirus, the recently pandemic novel coronavirus, the Nipah virus and many other. So far, it has invested nearly $30 million in several candidates developing vaccine against the novel coronavirus. The organization plans to advance the top six of these candidates into larger efficacy trials with thousands of participants. Another funding source is BARDA, Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, which is contributing hundreds of millions of dollars to two top vaccine candidates, Johnson & Johnson and Moderna. Now I'm going to briefly talk about few of these companies developing vaccines against the novel coronavirus. Moderna, in collaboration with US government. US government has actually collaborated with two companies, Johnson & Johnson and Moderna. Moderna has already started phase 1 clinical trial for vaccine. The trial is being funded by the National Institutes of Health and includes 45 young healthy volunteers who will receive different doses of the vaccine that was co-developed by the National Institutes of Health and Moderna. The vaccine consists of the lipid nanoparticles containing mRNA for the SARS coronavirus 2 spike protein and are injected into the arm. I have already discussed the working mechanism of this vaccine in my previous videos, make sure to check it out. Moderna is developing similar vaccine against uh, Zika and other viruses and other companies have RNA vaccines in clinical trials as well, but to date no vaccine of this type has been approved for use. Phase 1 clinical trial is underway in Seattle and preparation for phase 2 and 3 clinical trials will begin immediately upon successful completion. Next one is Cancino Biologics and the Academy of Military Medical Sciences from China. The Chinese biopharma firm Cancino Biologics have already gone through their phase 1 clinical trials in Wuhan, Hubei province where the coronavirus was first reported. And now they are recruiting 500 volunteers for the second phase of a clinical trial. Volunteers for the Cancino trial must be 18 to 60 years old with no history of coronavirus infection or vaccine allergy. Their vaccine consists of non-replicating adenovirus vector which carries a gene for the spike protein of novel coronavirus and is injected into the arm. The company had also produced Ebola vaccine which was approved in China in 2017. Third one is University of Oxford, United Kingdom. Researchers at the University of Oxford have commenced enrollment of healthy volunteer for a clinical trial of the COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccine is based on a chimpanzee adenovirus vector carrying the gene for the SARS coronavirus to spike protein and is injected into the arm. The trial is designed to enroll up to 510 participants aged 18 to 55 and is being conducted by the university's Jenner Institute and Oxford Vaccine Group. The team is already conducting phase 1 trial for the MERS coronavirus using the same adenovirus vector. In number 4, we have Innovio Pharmaceuticals. US Innovio Pharmaceuticals plans to test its vaccine on the volunteers at the University of Pennsylvania and at a testing center in Kansas City, Missouri. The company is enrolling up to 40 healthy adult participants and each will receive two doses of vaccine four weeks apart. 
It's a DNA-based vaccine. A special device will administer DNA molecules that encodes spike proteins of novel coronavirus through the skin. Phase 1 trial is underway with plans to manufacture 1 million doses of its candidate this year. Next we have University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Now I have already made a video on them. I'll put the link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Their method is slightly unique because they deliver the vaccine through microneedle patch on the skin. The vaccine consists of a spike protein of the novel coronavirus. They tested this vaccine in mice and the antibody response to the vaccine was enough to neutralize the virus. They expect to start clinical testing in the next few months. Lastly, we have Janssen. Janssen is a pharmaceutical subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson which is in partnership with Barda. The company expects to initiate human clinical studies of its lead vaccine candidate at the latest by September 2020 and anticipates the first batches of a COVID-19 vaccine could be available for emergency use authorization in early 2021. Johnson & Johnson is also expanding the company's global manufacturing capacity which will enable the supply of more than 1 billion doses of effective vaccine globally. Their vaccine consists of non-replicating adenovirus vector carrying undisclosed genetic material of SARS-CoV-2 and is administered intranasally. So that's all for this video. Also, the global death from coronavirus has exceeded 100,000 with over 1.6 million cases and no any specific treatments or vaccines have been discovered yet. So the best way to treat the disease is to stay away from it. Stay home, stay safe.